Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be taking you behind the scenes of a photography mini session. It was like a picnic mini session and it's super adorable. We did it at the park here in Boise so I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how we got the shots. For my first pose I had them lay on their backs and hold hands together. That way I could get a really nice photo of them laying down and facing each other. Now for the majority of the shoot we did use the 35mm Sigma um, 1.2 lens because it was a public park and right on the other side of the couple towards me more a little bit further back there was just like a sidewalk where people could walk and i didn't want to be intruding on people who were walking or make it any more annoying for those who were wanting to enjoy the park i had a lot of scenes where i had them kiss a lot or get super close because i wanted to take their engagement photos as cute and adorable as i possibly could um, we wanted to do like a mini session that was like not your typical engagement session and i think this one turned out just perfect I made sure to take a lot of detail shots of like them pouring wine into their glass and cup as well as like just small details. Uh, I won't show you all the pictures but I wanted this to look as fairy tale as possible because Bailey Wong's dress was just absolutely beautiful that she brought back from China. Also shout out to Alexa Gray, I'll leave her Instagram down below, she's another photographer who came to take behind the scenes photos for me. Now, using the Sigma 35mm 1.2 lens, I did realize that while it did produce these beautiful magical photos if you set it up just right, it can also be very daunting to use in a real life setting if you did not practice with it before. I myself didn't really get to use it that often. I always use like my Tamron lens or my Viltrox, and let me tell you, I was kind of panicking when I couldn't get it to focus with the eye back button focus, so I ended up having to use the flexible expanded focusing and it helped a lot better to get the photos that I wanted for this shoot. Hey guys, for more photography theme content, don't forget to subscribe. I do post a wide variety of content on my channel. I do a lot of silent vlogs. I do a lot of product reviews as well as unboxing videos for Japanese fashion. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, please leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next and thank you guys so much for watching this video until next time bye bye